Josh Hader, signing with the Astros, five years, $95 million. Was this the best landing spot for him? For him personally, yeah. You get on a team that's very capable of winning the World Series yeah. next year. And so he, I think he's in a great spot. It, is, it was an interesting move, right? But here's why I'll say this move was necessary for the Astros. Okay. Because the Astros' bullpen was good. It was not great. And when you look at the recipe to winning in the playoffs, that involves two or three dominant starters. Three starting pitchers. And a really dominant bullpen. Yeah. And they have had issues this, this offseason with, with the bullpen. So I like Ryan Presley a lot. He was the closer. I, I think Josh Hader's going to slide into the closer spot, and you'll have oh, yeah. Presley and then Josh Hader. But their bullpen took a big hit. Montero was not good last year. Mm -mm. And then you lose Graveman for the year. Mm -hmm. He got surgery, just announced he's out for the year. Hector Neris, gone. Phil Maton, gone. Ryan Stanek, gone. So there were a lot of innings to fill. Okay. So I do like this move for that reason. It was a good bullpen, not a great one. This, to me, feels like a move for October. That's what it feels like. The offense will be good. Starters will be good. And now you have a dominant, dominant back into the bullpen. You're adding Josh Hader, who's an all-time great reliever. Over the last decade, I think Josh Hader might be the, the top closer. He's one of the top closers over the last decade. Spare me the bullshit of his 5-2-2 ERA last year. I really don't care. It was just a couple bad weeks. You go back yeah. to the playoffs of 2022, yeah. he's allowed just nine earned runs in 78 games, dating back to 2022 playoffs. So I like the deal a lot. Five-year deal for a top closer in baseball. It's an unprecedented deal. Um, there, you, you don't see closers get this money. In fact, no. it's the most upfront money for a closer in the history of baseball. Jim Crane has been dealing with a lot of clamoring on from Astros fans saying he's being too cheap and not doing enough. I think this was, this was an unprecedented deal for him. I, I like it a lot. It's the longest and most lucrative deal in Jim Crane's tenure, yeah. dating back to 2011. Um, I like it. Yeah. I like it a lot. Thanks for watching. If you love flipping bats, swinging 3-0, or just talking ball, join us. Call us at 213-537-9339 with your questions. We have a weekly guest, and we have a lot of fun, so hit that subscribe button.